Hey guys and welcome back to the first tutorial on this series and the series is going to be a bit more advanced than the last series and we're going to be covering more stuff like the paint, serve sort of message listener, that sort of stuff. Simple stuff still but a bit more difficult than the previous series. So today we're going to be seeing how to add the paint to our script and the basic methods we can use in the paint to display information in our screen. So the first thing we want to do, I've got here the script we worked on during the last series, the iMiner script, working fully and we only have to add a paint to it now to make it look more appealing. So the first thing we have to do is implement paint listener. And what this will do is tell our spot that our script uh, has some properties that the paint listener class gives us. And if our script implements paint listener, our spot knows that it's it's going to have to display information in our screen. And this also gives us a method in which to write what to display in our screen. But of course, we have to import paint listener and add the unimplemented methods. So we import it, and we add the method. We go to the method here at the bottom and let's simply add a small comment here saying that this is the paint so we've got our paint method here public void on repaint and this method is going to get executed over and over again very quickly so everything you write here is going to get updated really quickly. So for example, runtime counters to display for how long the script has been running or experience counters to display the experience gained. These will all get updated really quickly and will always show up-to-date information. And then we've got graphics G here. And what this means is um, that this on repaint method is going to use a graphics object which um, basically allows us um, to paint stuff in the screen such as strings of text or uh, rectangles or images and that sort of things. So our graphics object has got a few methods we can use. I'm going to go through some of those methods which are especially important. For example, if we type G, which is our object, we can then go to draw arc or draw image we can see here and I'm gonna, gonna go into drawing images since it's pretty complicated you can see it's got a lot of arguments we can use draw rect which draws a rectangle draw round rect which draws a, a rectangle with rounded edges draw string which draws a string of text and so basically that, that's pretty simple for example if we go to it we could draw in our screen hello world and then here we just supply the x and y coordinates in which we want to draw our string so for example 100 100 we've got more for example fill rect and fill rect and fill round rect basically fill a rectangle or a round rectangle with color and to do that we first of all have to do the method set color. Well, let's. And the set color method, um, basically, well, basically each graphics object can only have one color at each given point in time. So every time you want to draw something with a determined color, you have to do the set color method and set the color to whichever color you want. And um, so, for example, if you set color to black, then the next string of text you draw and the next rectangle you draw until you change the color again will be black and then you can change the color to red and everything you draw until you change the color again will be red the way to use that method is pretty simple you simply get a color red for example and that's it I think you have to import color yes you do so you import color and that's it and then if we draw a string again you will see that, um, well actually let's draw it in a different location so we can see it. You'll notice that indeed this one appears black, which is a default color, and this one appears red. 
which is the color we used and everything you uh, create until you do a set color again will be red so that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video I'm not going to go through how it displays on the screen until the next video and we can see that um, using the graphics uh, methods to display information on our screen is pretty simple and adding a paint to our script is also very simple so that's pretty much it i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video